Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel again. My name is Augusta Good. Merry Christmas everybody! <laughs> If this is your first time of stopping by to watch my video, thank you for stopping by to watch this video. If you've been coming to watch my video, I do appreciate you. Thank you once more for stopping by to watch my video. So guys, today is 24th December 2020. Oh, God has been so faithful. So finally, we've gotten to the 24th of December. We have to say thank you, Lord. We have a gist and like, you know what's been happening for some time now. We've been doing this. Let's get personal. And, um... Now, I think I've treated the, the questions I have. I think I'm done treating them. So I bring you guys a gist today. It, again, it is something that I think I should just address generally. Actually saw it on social media again. And um, I think some women really need to be spoken to because the kind of informations that are flying around, I think um, the women in our generation need a reorientation because a lot of things are going up on the internet and a lot of people are learning some things on the internet. And some people do not know how to filter the good from the bad. They take everything, they suck in everything they see on the internet. So today, guys, I'm going to read this thing I saw and then I'm going to address it. The person who posted it said, the useless man I am married to haven't brought out money to... I haven't brought us money or bought any tangible stuff, stuff for this season. I am down. I have planned and planned in my head on how to leave him. Is it because of the Christmas things that he hasn't bought that is making this woman plan and plan in her head on how to leave the man? Or she is planning because of something else I don't understand. I am leaving him with kids, meaning she will leave the man with the children, she will go. When I am stable, I will come for them, for the children. My heart and body embittered. Yeah. This one go figure person on top of her shop. So many bad decisions. He doesn't know nothing. Just a pushover man. All I contribute to house is nothing because he's just sleeping and eating. I am a hairdresser. He is asking for he is asking me for doggy. Part of me wants to drug him and dog him too with my touch lights. I don't know what that means, no, the touch light. Idiot. Upon, I stand all day working on her. I am so down, man. So women, eh? When I see, when I see, I purposely, br I'm bringing, I'm picking out these things from social media to come and, discuss here because when i see some comments on social media especially facebook when i see so even on instagram when i see some comment eh, i will start asking myself like these people are they really on planet earth or they came from jupiter really okay you are a hairdresser probably married to a man who is not too buoyant you knew before you married this man You knew before you married this man that he does not have money. You guys are managing. Now, I am not justifying what a guy is doing, though. Lying down on the couch all day, I am not justifying it. Uh, I want to address madam first. Madam, you knew before you married Oga that Oga does not have money. Now, you have been to Oga. You have had children. She did not tell us how many children she had for Oga. You've had children for Oga, and all of a sudden, because Oga could not bring money for Christmas, or Oga could not buy anything tangible, you are about to leave Oga, and then leave your children with a man who does not have money to take care of the children. You want to leave your children with a man who cannot feed, who cannot feed the children. Madam, explain to us, you hear your mind day, like, what do you have in mind before now? Uh, you know, say my people used to make parable that when you see a bird dancing on the um, on the path, those uh, village bush paths, when you see a bird dancing on the bush path, you know that there is a drummer drumming for the bird by the side of the bush path. Before this woman could say she wants to leave, she wants to leave her children behind. If you have some, if you have a place already, you wouldn't say you want to leave your children. After all, you have something doing. 
you are a hairdresser that suggests that you can actually take care of your children so if you're leaving the marriage if you have decided that this is your calling to leave the marriage because you're hearing everybody saying i want to leave i want to leave you so you want to leave see i have to warn you women watching my videos yes i am divorced not by choice but it happened life happened life gave me lemon and i am making lemonade with it do not jump out from your marriage if there is anything you if 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 there is a percentage that you can manage it if there is any hope that you can manage it please do not jump out from it because you're jumping out from one you don't know where you're going to the only reason why we encourage a woman to leave her husband is when there is abuse and the woman's life is at stake that is the only time i will encourage you to leave your husband i will not encourage you to leave your husband because he sleeps on the couch i will not encourage you to leave your husband because he does not have money i will not i did not marry mine with money oh the one i married was not having money when i married him we used to put mattress on the floor to sleep forget all the paparazzi we were putting mattress on the floor to sleep when i married him so there was no money when i married him so madam you already have something doing you have hand work you can do something if the man say he's not going to work he's not going to bring money and hey you concentrate on your children and what if god forbid you have children and the man now died are you not going to take care of your children you will take care of your children. So if you don't want Oga to eat from the food that you are cooking, tell him play, pump and play. Oga, you cannot eat from this food that I am cooking. If you don't want him because he's not ready to do anything. Because some men are really lazy. They wouldn't want to do anything. Best way not reach one. Because they made a cut them into 15. Some men that know that they are not even qualified for cleaner's job. They want to be the manager of the company. So if you know that your Oga is that kind of person, who is so adamant that he cannot do any good, any job, no matter how the joker, I used to hear or see graduates riding Okada for, 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 for the time being when there is nothing else to do. So if your Oga has said he is ready to sleep on the couch, let him sleep with empty stomach. You're, you're, you have a place where you make hair, feed your children, and when you get home, bathe your children and make them sleep. You said you sleep. You don't need to start um, having more children for the man. If body scratch, body they do you sometimes. Do family planning. You don't have to have, have more children. But madam, packing away from the man's house and leaving your children with the man, madam, I go talk saying I be Raja first day you eh? That suggests that you have something in mind already because you want to leave these children to suffer and you want to go your separate, your own way. No. I then, 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 the problem is no with uh, uh, the hungry in the house yes if you are living you live with your children i will never encourage any woman to leave her children with a man the man will even get money a man that is even rich to even leave your children with a rich man self is difficult talk less of a man that cannot feed his own mouth you want the children to die now i need to explain something to you uh, women Picky when they don't burn, they're not they burn them again. Oh. Mm -mm. Picky when you don't burn before, you cannot have that child again. So, the more you have, cherish it. And because the more you grow, the more difficult it becomes to give back to children. Those ones that you had when you were 20, 20, when you were 25, 30, all those younger age, it's not as easy. The way you had that one, it's not going to be that easy when you are, when you've crossed um, 35. It's not going to be that easy. When I had my first child, it was like, it was very easy. I thought, oh, if it's like this, I'll have 10 now. You know, I love children. So I was like, oh, if it's like this, I'll have them many. But when I got to the third and the fourth, I know that ah, it's not easy. Because age was not telling on me. So you don't use your children to play Kalo Kalo because of one man. If you have, I used to say it in this channel. Whatever you're planning, put your children first. Put your children first. Don't say I'm leaving the children. I will come back from them when I'm stable. Stable with what? You have a hand work. You have a shop. That suggests you have a shop. How stable do you want to be before you come back to pick the children? Then, then take the children and take them to your family. That is it. You cannot leave your children with a man who had nothing to do. Who is not doing anything. Who is sleeping inside the house. Money to nights. You saw the traits before you married him. You saw that he was like that. You have to manage it because there is no abuse. This man is not, he's not doing anything wrong to you. He's punishing himself. He's not feeding the home. That is not enough. The Bible did not say that you are allowed to go away because the man cannot give you food. The Bible only say a man who cannot feed his family is worse than an infidel. Leave the man and God. Let him go and treat him, his case with God. 
You are not God, no assistant God. You can't handle it. So women, don't be quick to jump out. There is nothing outside. I tell you, there is nothing outside. Don't be quick to jump out. After all, you first do get before you marry. Nobody will even have to uh, 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 suggest to you or, or advise you to tell you that there is nothing outside. Nothing there outside. If you get man for house, if you get family, especially if you already have children, please, if there is no problem, stop looking for trouble where there is no trouble. Stop trying to generate problem so that the man will come and do something and then you will shout domestic violence so that you have opportunity to step out from the house. No. No duo. No do. I'm advising you. No do. I have the experience of a single girl. I have the experience of a married woman. I have the experience of a divorced woman. So I will tell you, it's not sweet out there. I'm even in the UK. Compared to you that is in Nigeria, you go do for you, do for you, do for you. You go tire you. You go tire you. The thing where they sit you for outside, when you see it, you'll be tired. You want to move and leave your children so that the worker go sweet. The outside go clear for you. I know you are not thinking straight for now, but my dear, if you will ever see this video, don't do it. If you're ever thinking of leaving your husband because of issues like that, please don't do it. Look for a way around it. So long the man is not hitting you, you're good to be there. Just continue. Pray for him and then um, work harder, take care of yourself and take care of your children. Just pretend like you don't have a man. And if you, didn't, if you don't have a man, you take care of your children. What if their father was dead? You take care of them. That is how I do my things. That is how I plan my plan. When I'm taking care of my children, that's what I have in mind. What if, I, God forbid, God will never make him die though. God forbid he is not there. What will I do? Will I not take care of my children? That is it. So, woman, think of what to do. Expand your business. Add other sides of the hustle to your hustle. Feed your children. Take care of your children. If you don't want to feed the man, let him stay. That is all I can say in this kind of issue. Thank you guys for watching my video. I do hope you learned something from this video. I hope you get something from this video. Please share this video. If there's anybody you know or you think need to hear what I'm saying in this video, please share this video. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to comment. Let me know what you feel. Let me know what you uh, what your thoughts is as regard this issue that I just address. I, I, I just address. Let me know how you feel and what you think. Thank you guys for watching this video. I do appreciate it. You have a nice day.